morning class today we will discuss about work and energy observe the pictures given here and identify in which work has been done now if you see the pictures carefully the about of pictures there is no displacement the boy is studying and the boy is watching tv so they are at one place they are not moving and the below two pictures shows displacement in the previous chapter you have already studied about what is displacement now displacement is the minimum distance between the starting and the finishing point now from scientific point of view when can we say that work has been done when there is displacement of the object so work can be divided into mental work and physical work so below two pictures refer to as physical work and the above two picture refers as mental work in the previous slide we have already seen what are the different types of work so work can be of two types mental work and physical work now from the name itself mental work involves brain only whereas physical work involves energy so in physics we deal with physical work now what is the definition of work work is said to be done when a force applied on an object causes displacement of the object keep in mind displacement is very important when the applied force doesn't cause any displacement then we can say there is no work done now work can be written as the product of force and displacement when a child pulls a toy with the help of a string the direction of force is different from that of the displacement this is the direction of the force and this is the direction of the displacement in this case the direction of force makes an angle with the direction of displacement which is along the horizontal surface so in order to calculate the amount of work done we have to convert the applied force into the force acting along the direction of displacement so this f1 is the force acting along the direction of displacement observe the figure carefully let f be the applied force and f m be its component in the direction of displacement let l be the displacement the amount of work done is given by w is equal to f1 dot s now this dot is nothing but multiplication sign now this we will write as equation number 1 the force f is applied in the direction of the string that is at an angle with the horizontal let theta be the angle that the string makes with the horizontal now we can determine the component f1 by law of trigonometry we will take cos theta which is nothing but base upon hypotenuse now here base is f1 and hypotenuse is f what is hypotenuse the side opposite to the right angle so we can write cos theta as f1 upon f by rearranging we will write f1 is equal to f cos theta thus the work done by f1 is w is equal to f cos theta multiplied by s so instead of just writing f we are writing f cos theta by because here the direction of the force applied and the direction of the force in which the displacement has happened is different so we will write this w as f s cos theta we have just rearranged the force displacement and cos theta now depending upon the applied force and the direction of displacement the value of theta will be different we know that the angle will be different depending upon the force applied and the displacement now we will see the amount of work done that is depending upon the applied force and the force acting along the direction of displacement 
Now here we will see the different values of theta. Theta is nothing but the angle between the displacement and the force. So we will see that for 0 degree, cos 0 degree will become 1 and the work done will be nothing but F multiplied by S. For 90 degree, cos 90 degree will become 0. So anything multiplied by 0 will be 0. So the work done will be 0. Then for cos 180 degree, it is minus 1. So the work done will become negative. Now this we will discuss in the next class in details about the positive, negative and zero work done. Now we will discuss about unit of work. Work we know that is a product of force and displacement. Now in SI system the unit of force is Newton which is denoted as capital M and the unit of displacement is meter which is denoted as small m. So we can write work as force. Newton and displacement meter. So the unit of work will become Newton meter. Now this Newton meter is called as Joule. Now we will discuss about what is Joule. So what is 1 Joule? If a force of 1 Newton displaces an object to 1 meter in the direction of the force, the amount of work done on the object is 1 joule. That can be written as 1 joule is equal to 1 newton multiplied by 1 meter. Now this joule is denoted by capital J. So 1 J is equal to 1 newton multiplied by 1 meter. In CJ system, the unit of force is dyne and that of displacement is centimeter. Thus, unit of work done is Dine centimeter. Now this dine centimeter is also called as an earl. Now we will discuss about what is one earl. If a force of one dine displaces an object to one centimeter in the direction of the force, the amount of work done is one earl, which can be written as one dine multiplied by one centimeter relationship between joule and work. We have already seen what is joule and what is arc. We know that 1 meter is equal to 100 centimeters. So this may be written as 1 meter is equal to 10 base to 2 centimeter. Similarly, 1 newton is equal to 10 base to 5 dyne. Now work is the product of force and displacement. So work can be written as 1 joule, force can be written as 1 newton and displacement can be written as 1 meter. Now we will put the values. So 1 joule will become 10 raise to 5 dyne multiplied by 10 raise to 2 centimeter. So 1 joule is equal to 10 raise to 7 dyne centimeter. We know the law of indices. So 1 joule is equal to 10 raise to 7 arc. Because we know that dyne centimeter is equal to arc. Therefore, 1 joule is equal to 10 to 7 arc.